the reception of the open access announcement has been huge. Uh, as we're recording this, the book has only been available electronically for one month, but a huge number of people have downloaded it. I'm really happy to see that. It shows that there's a demand within the mathematics community uh, for this ease of access. I especially appreciate that students can be able to use the book for free. Some people will like the print version, and that's fine, but if the electronic version suffices, that's good too. I think the most interesting thing I did was find uh, good pictures to go with the chapter opening page of each chapter. For the chapter on outer measure, I wanted to find something relevant to vitality. We discovered that we can't have a measure whose domain is all subsets of the real line. This clever proof uses translation invariance. What I discovered was a famous Roman mosaic in Ravenna, Italy, where Vitali grew up. He almost certainly saw this mosaic as a child and its translation invariant. And I kept thinking, this might have inspired him. So I put that picture in the book. I've been an editor for the Springer series Graduate Text in Mathematics, Undergraduate Text in Mathematics, and University Text for quite a few years. So I've read lots of manuscripts with the viewpoint of what is this like for the reader. I think it's really helped me in writing this new book that I'm so accustomed to thinking about how, do, how will the reader view this. So what I tried to do with this new book was make it really unusually reader friendly. Mathematics has been really good to me throughout my career, and I wanted to give something back. So by making this book open access, I'm giving something back to the mathematics community, and that feels pretty good.